Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X. E. L. O. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for coming back, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you're new here, please do me a favor and like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that bell notification. I'll let you know when I drop another video. And if you really are new here, just let me know below in the comment section. Say, I'm new here. All right. So today I'm going to be doing more of a rant or like um, some issues I've been having with Cakewalk that I'm pretty sure other people are actually having. Uh, some will say it's not happening or it's just a VST, but um, it's just commonly happening inside of Cakewalk. Let's get into it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are in Cakewalk. This is my light theme. If you're interested in this theme or my dark theme, I have a link below that you can download these for free. All right, so let's start with VST3. So what the VST3 does that's a little bit better than the VST2 is it saves you on your CPU because it doesn't run if the plugin is not running. So if you're not playing anything in that plugin, it's not going to run, so it'll save your computer some energy and you know space and all that other good stuff and ram and whatever you want to call it right where vst2s they still run in the background they run completely so it's using up more resources um that's the main reason that the vst3s were made so that's why i like to use them so i can save as much resources and power and stuff as i possibly can on any project that i'm using but um it comes to my attention that a lot of my vst3s are causing some issues with cakewalk um, I'm not sure if you're having the same exact issues I'm having, but these are issues that I am having with, uh, Cakewalk and VSC threes. All right. So let's start with, uh, instrument. Let's go to sample tank. So I'm going to use sample tank four, right? I'm going to go down to advance and I want to do multiple instruments. So let's say I'm making like an orchestral piece or, you know, something that I know I'm, I'm going to need a lot of instruments and I'm going to just use sample tank. This is what I usually would do. So I have 16 tracks created. And when I hit on create, it's gonna process and think about it. And then Cakewalk is gone, no longer on the screen. So this has been happening to me um, a lot. And I'm, everything in this video that I'm talking about, I have already reported to Cakewalk and waiting for an answer or a result or something to fix these issues that have been happening with these VSTs and plugins. All right. So as you see that, that didn't work out very well for completely crush and shut down everything in there. So, um, that's one of the things that does happen with the VST threes. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is usually when you actually are, um, putting samples inside a cakewalk for some reason, uh, it goes into that, um, groove clip looping. And I'm not sure why, um, I'm not sure if there's a way to change that inside of preferences. I've never actually looked for it. If anybody does know, please leave it below in the comment section so we can all benefit from that information. All right. I'm going to go and click up on here and let's go and see if we can find a sample. I'm just going to grab one of them from here, drag it into uh, Cakewalk here. For some reason, this um, these samples from him, for some reason, like they are in this groove clip mode, and I'm not sure why. See, like I, if I'm holding Control and Shift, I can't move it. That's how I usually know that it's in that groove clip or groove looping. So I can click on the sample and do a Control and L, and as you see, it shrunk down from the nine to the eight. And that's how I know. And then I can do a control and shift and it'll give me that newer, the stretching, uh, option for the sample. Right. And we have to find a way cakewalk to that. If you just did, if you did do this stretch, that you don't have to bounce it to clip. Uh, it just saves more time when you're actually going through and making things inside of the doll. Uh, right now, if I do keep it playing, I'll probably get like an audio dropout or it'll start doing some really weird glitching sounds and rearrange the sample 
in some way. I'm not sure why it does that, but it does happen. It doesn't matter if I have the buffer size up or down, it just kind of uh, does its own thing. So I'm gonna bounce this to clip. All right, so now this is bounced to clip, so it should be good to go. And what I wanna do, I'm gonna add a plugin that I know usually starts messing with Cakewalk. So I'm gonna go to T-Rex, and this is the one. This is a mastering uh, plugin that they have from IK Media. This is like my go-to for uh, mastering. I love this plugin. I've used it in FL, I use it in Reaper. I've used it in Ableton. It's a really great uh, plugin. But in Cakewalk, it knocks out the audio engine completely. Uh, let me show you. If I move it too fast, it just drops out the audio engine. And it only does it on these three knobs. I'm not sure if they have like a look ahead issue with them or um, something like that that's going on. But this, this one is the only, these three are the only ones that do that. Uh, we'll drop out the whole entire audio um, from this plugin. And it, it happens on other things as well, like the audio dropout, and it shouldn't happen as consistently as it does. Um, none of the other DAWs that I actually use does this at all for my audio engine. It's the same audio. Like it's the same processing. So I'm not sure why this triggers Cakewalks to uh, drop the audio engine. Even if I raise up my buffer settings, it does the same exact thing. So uh, I know there'll be some people that say, oh, you need to raise your buffering. No, it's not the buffering. It's just an audio engine dropout. There's no, no other way to explain it. The other thing that um, I've been having an issue with, with the VST3s, pull up a track that had a whole bunch of MP3 and, and yeah, VST3s in them. And for some reason I wasn't able to open it. So this is the, the track. This is what the one I had to remake and make it named VST2 just so I can open up the track. All right, story time. All right, so this was something that I needed for a project that I was gonna send out to some libraries. And what happened was I couldn't open the file. I tried to open it in Cakewalk and it would not open. Uh, so let me show you what it did. So this is the VST3 one. This is the original one here. And when I try to open it, Cakewalk completely crashes. Um, I've sent this in to the Cakewalk team. They are investigating it still. That's been a little while. It still hasn't been resolved. So. What I had to do was open this project up in Reaper so I can get all the settings that I have for all the VSTs because most of them are the same VST. So what I had to do was uh, open up Reaper and open up Cakewalk and adjust all the settings of the VST so that they match exactly. Then I only had, I had to use them in VST2. I could not use a VST3 because I see that it was crashing Cakewalk. So I had to convert them to VST2 for it to actually work. And this is what it does now with the VST2s in there. And as you see, the project pulls up no problem at all. It's not that many tracks either. So I'm not 100% sure why the VST3s react this way inside of Cakewalk, but it is something that uh, definitely needs to be addressed. Other way to address it than sending them in the stuff that they ask for. And I did that already, and I'm still waiting on results from that but it seems like it is a, a VST3 thing or issue that it may be having with Cakewalk, but uh, it's something that is very, very bothersome. And I'm pretty sure some other people have been out there experiencing the same thing. The other thing that I keep getting a lot of is the MPC beats. I, hit, I, hear, I see people hitting me up all the time saying that MPC beats is still not working for them. I'm not 100% sure why it's not working for you. It should be. Um, it's actually been working for a while now uh, for me inside of Cakewalk. I haven't had any issues with it. I can load up samples. I can actually use it as its own entity inside of Cakewalk and not have any issues or crashing. So I'm not sure what the issue is, but uh, the advice I will give you on that if you're using the MPC beats is to delete it off of your computer, uninstall it completely. Then reinstall it. Make sure you have the latest software. I believe they just came out with a new software, like a 2.1 or 20.1, something like that. They have a new update 
for the MPC Beats. Make sure you have that. Make sure you have the latest version of Cakewalk. I believe they just released a new version as well. So once those two link up, it should be working. If it's not working, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below. I mean, this kind of uh, I'm just kind of intrigued in seeing what's going on. If you have any other issues and things that you are finding blocking you uh, in Cakewalk, please let me know in the description below. And I hope you guys um, had fun watching this video, I guess, because uh, it was more of a, a rant than anything else. This is some of the just the issues that I've been having with Cakewalk and um, just trying to get everything back to a way uh, it should be, should be working perfectly fine. But that's not always the case. Um, we are using DAWs. Um, just to let you guys know, I am doing a sample flip contest and it will have some cash prizes. So if you're not a part of the Discord, you should join the Discord, be a part of Discord, join the sample flip, let's have some fun, and the winner will get some uh, some cash advance uh, for either uh, Cash App or PayPal. But once again, it's your boy, x.e.l.o. Until next time, people. Peace.